Welcome back, viewers. We are still on our message, our wonderful message from Pastor Chris. He gives more grace, and I continue reading. At no extra effort on your part, you can achieve much more results by taking advantage of the grace that's in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. So that means you don't have to, to work hard for it. It's a gift from God. You can take the grace freely. Hallelujah. There are different graces for different endeavors. Do you know which grace you need? That's a question you should think about. Do you know which grace you need? Mm -hmm. In which area of your life do you need grace or even more grace? Hallelujah. You should Thanks think God. about it because you have to be focused on it. Otherwise you uh, can't take it for it. Is it the grace for healing, for multiplication, for winning souls, for business expansion or for your finances? Just go to the shelf and find the grace you want. Wow, that's wonderful. Yes, it is. It's really the grace you want. I mean, you can decide how far you want to go. It's just God said, I have given more grace and you can receive as much grace as you want. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. Pastor Chris tells us here that we have just coming to the throne of grace, taking the grace, lambano it. Amen. You are in an active part and it's freely given to you. You just take it for what you need or what you want to achieve. It's there. Hallelujah. Yes, that's exactly the point. If you want to have um, more grace, you should, you must take it. You have to lambano it. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yes, it is yeah. there. It is given to you. You just lambano it. Hallelujah. And you know exactly what you have to do for this grace. And then it's guaranteed. Hallelujah. Praise God. And Pastor Chris continues. Notice it says that we may find grace to help in time of need. Meaning the reason we find such grace is because we want to help other people. We want to change lives. Hallelujah. Yes. 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 Praise That's God. what God wants. He mm -hmm. wants um, none of his people in, in luck. It's what um, David said. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. And when you are involved in the gospel spreading, when you are involved in the kingdom of God, everything what you have in your heart, you know, it's that what God has in his heart. So if you want to achieve something, you can be sure that God is backing you up. And so you have the grace, it's granted to you. Just lambano it and say, I'm going to reach this goal. I'm going to do it with the grace of God, which is given to me. Amen. And you can share this grace with others. Um, when you share the word of God with them, they will um, take the grace because of your words, because mm -hmm. you are um, the light of the world. You have to bring the message to the people and they will take advantage of the same grace. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And today, this month is the month of light. Yes, exactly. Now Pastor Chris continues. Take advantage of the grace that's in Christ Jesus. You can take advantage of that grace right now and begin helping other people who are in need. Remember the word declares, but he giveth more grace. That's from James chapter 4 verse 6. Yes, he has given more grace. You can lambano it and you can give it freely to others. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There are some things given from God, which is a gift like the righteousness, for example, and you do not need more righteousness. That what he has um, gotten is everything you need. But in, in the case of grace, it is you, ex you can extend it. Yeah, there's no end of taking grace. There's no end of achieving your goals and that what you have in your heart to do for God. Yeah. Hallelujah! You can have more grace and more grace and more grace. Hallelujah! Praise God. Yes, it's only a question of how far do you want to go? Mm -hmm. How much do you want to take? Hallelujah! Hallelujah. What a wonderful message today, an answer. The title is He Gives More Grace. Hallelujah. We're going to have now a short break and coming back and take the prayer together. Stay tuned. You are watching Rhapsody of Reality's daily devotional program. Stay tuned. As the sun rises, a new day is born, a new opportunity given, an opening to make a change, a chance to make it better. 
because our lives are defined by our choices. Every day with Rhapsody of Realities counts in making that great future. Get your November edition of Rhapsody of Realities. Call now to place your order or order online at www.rhapsodyofrealities.org. Rhapsody of Realities, giving your day a lift. Enjoy life to its fullest. Get clear understanding of God's Word. It gets into depth. It, it's got God's Word and then like an explanation and that really helps bring it home. Experience true love. Each day I see how God loves me and how He teaches me how to love others. Peace beyond comprehension. I feel in my heart yeah, the peace of God. I, I suddenly come to realize that this is something that I have been searching for. Perfect health. I could stand and I could walk and I could hear again. I, I just recovered totally. If the best is what you want, Rhapsody of Realities is what you need. Get your November edition of Rhapsody of Realities. Call now or order online at www.rhapsodyofrealities.org. Rhapsody of Realities, giving your day a lift. Welcome back to the program. We take the prayer now together. Dear Father, Dear Father, I thank you. I thank you. For your grace. For your grace. Which you have so lavishly poured out on me. Which you've so lavishly poured out on me. I take advantage of that grace today. I take advantage of that grace today. And as a result. And as a result. Gates of blessings. Gates of blessings. And opportunities are and opened to me. And opportunities are opened to me. My life is the testimony of your grace. My life is the testimony of your grace. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We took advantage of the grace in Christ Jesus today. Hallelujah. Amen. For further studies, Please open in John chapter 1 verse 17, in Hebrews chapter 4 verse 16, and in 2 Timothy chapter 2 verse 1. And I will now give you the scriptures for the one year Bible reading plan. And it's taken from 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 22 to chapter 2 verse 1 to 25 and Jeremiah chapter 50 to 51. And for the two-year Bible reading plan, we have um, two scriptures too. And it is Jude chapter 1, verse 1 to 11, and Daniel chapter 11 to 12. What a wonderful message today from our man of God, Pastor Chris. He gave more grace. And we have taken more grace today, and we put it into advantage. Thank you. We had a great time sharing the Word of God with you today. And I'm sure that you are blessed and had an amazing time on the program today. Hallelujah. I'd like to say thank you, Pastor Chris, for the Rhapsody of Realities. Thank you that we have it in German language to spread it in Germany. Thank you for Rhapsody of Realities in more than 170 languages. Hallelujah. Thank you for the opportunity to share the Word of God here from Germany, Germany to all people around the world. And I'd like to say thank you to you partners that you give in the gospel that you give your time and your money and the prayer that the gospel of God is going around. Hallelujah. We had a great time and we are looking forward to sharing the word of God with you again. Until then we say, keep reading your Rhapsody of Realities. God segne euch. <laughs>